300. What's the deal? This your folk shock of the urban philosopher. Wanted to share my thoughts with y'all real quick. You know y'all, on my last channel, um, I had made a video about Kwame Brown. And on that Kwame Brown video, um, I had explained, I showed a little clip from the New Jack City scene where the old man was uh, running behind the police officer and he kept asking him all these questions and the officer was just playing him off or whatever. Um, I had explained to brothers on that scene that, you know, a so-called black man sitting around asking questions or saying that he don't know many, you know, the answers or anything, so he got to ask the questions. Uh, that's not a man that anybody takes seriously, okay? And so fast forward to today, y'all. So as of lately, you know, I've been on a, a clubhouse circuit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I get on there every now and then. I don't like getting on there a lot. They're, the, the rooms are just not managed properly. I mean, they be having like four moderators in, in the room and they don't have things implemented like Tom speeches, you know what I'm saying? And things like that, you know, they be having stuff like, well, you just got to fight for your space and it's just a mess. It's another video though, but one of the things that I noticed though is that when so-called black men get the floor, you know what I'm saying? They be doing a whole lot of ranting and talking but they don't present really any new solutions you know what i'm saying and that's why i'm making the video today you know so-called black men have to understand that that is not a good look man you know what i'm saying getting up and then making all these long rants and then at the end of the day you're like man now i don't know what we gotta do but we gotta do something i'm just telling y'all the problem i'm just concerned that's weak bro I say this all the time, you know, black men want to make certain things about uh, our women going out or going around uh, dealing with them and other men and stuff like that. One of the reasons why is because a lot of those men, they're not going to be in the presence of a so-called black woman and not have some direction and answers. OK. All right. That has something to do with it. And with this clubhouse thing. We have the opportunities to step up and show our women that we do have solutions. But damn near almost everything I hear on there is just so-called black men talking about the problem. And when pressured or asked about the solution, we get into this, I don't know, or a deflective thing. You know what I'm saying? And that is not a good look. That's not modern. Okay. You get it's a new day today, bro. And when we get these floors and stuff like that, you know, uh, we need to stop going out with this. I don't even know what the solution is. And, you know, because of that, it has been so normalized because it's always been like that. Even before the Internet, it's been so it's so normalized that. When our women actually hear brothers who will come in and start talking that, you know, here is the root of the cause. You know, here are some ideal solutions that I, I, I suggest that we can try or look to. It's intimidating. It's even intimidating to the men. The, the, the moment they hear any type of dialogue that's taking the conversation outside of the box, people attack it. And this has a lot to do with the so-called black man sitting around. You know, getting the chance to speak, getting the attention, this and that, and not speaking on any solutions. Part of this has a lot to do with confidence. A lot of so-called black men are not confident as they try to make themselves look. That's why a lot of these brothers just sit around and talk about the problem. You ask them to uh, give a solution, ask them a question, they duck their tail between their legs. You know what I'm saying? And that's not a good look, man. So I just wanted to go ahead and say that, man. We got to step that up, man. That is not a good look, okay? You know, our community looks to us to have the answers, okay? 
And we need to be better about doing that. Or if not, we need to be better about letting them know I don't have them now. But just stay tuned. We're going to come with these answers if they are out there. We need to start being more confident. OK. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Y'all go ahead and comment below. Like or dislike the information. But hit that sub button and that bell. Y'all know I'm going to draw something that you're going to like. Anyway, folks, this is your people, Shaka, the art and philosopher. I'm out. It's 300.